Hello everybody, welcome back to the TJ Be a Professional. Today, we're going to try to stop some more pucks. Hopefully we succeed. And I have basically made an executive decision that we are going to stop the series. No, um, we're going to finish the season. Uh, <laughs> I can't even talk already. That's a hot start. Right in the intro. We're going to finish the season in this video because there's only um, this many weeks left. And that's like... We might only get two games in that time anyway, but if we do end up getting three or four, I don't think it's worth it. We might as well just sort of breeze past it, get to the playoffs. We likely definitely will not be the playoff starter, and yeah, we'll have our first year under our belt. Hopefully, come in next year with a better overall, and we're definitely looking like a playoff team. We'd have to have a monumental collapse here in the last four weeks of play, so yeah, um, that's basically... What we're going to be doing in this one, getting through two more games that we will most likely be playing, maybe not, and yeah, get to the end of the year. So, let's do it. Um, let's go up to this and simulate. Let's see if we can get a dub here from Mike Smith. We have 38 wins at the moment, which is nice. What do you want, coach? Promise failure? Yeah. Oh, was it uh, win three of the next five? Oops. Well, I don't plan on winning the Calder anyway. I don't even want it. What a dumb trophy. Just kidding. It'd be an honor, but <laughs> I'm not going to win it, so it's stupid. Yeah. Oh, well. I still think we had a pretty good year overall. You know what? Like, I, I feel like I'm playing way better than I did as Tino Manny. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, we weren't even up at the game yet, so now we are. That was a win. 39. Nice. The LA Kings are struggling. Hopefully, we can get another W here, and we do. 40 wins. Very nice. And we're in against the Avalanche, who are second in the league. Why would you do that to me? Answer me! Oh, we're playing the LA Kings, who are really struggling this year. Yeah, let's put in our seasoned veteran goalie, you know? Give him that start. And then we face the second-placed Colorado Avalanche. In the entire league, no division or anything, the entire league, they're second-placed. Ah, uh, that 17-year-old kid, just throw him out there. I'm sure he'll get the job done. Anyway, we're going to be facing shots from... Well, it could be McKinnon and Ranton, and it could be Crosby and Ovechkin. With the trade engine in this game, who honestly knows? But again, I have not really seen any super unbelievable moves yet. I mean, we got Giordano, but that's not, you know, crazy or anything. It's not like a superstar player being shipped off somewhere. So, I haven't really seen anything. Oh, the floating hand, dude. The floating hand. Why? It gets me every time. But... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I haven't seen anything too wild yet. Maybe we will soon, but uh, in the first year so far, it seems pretty tame compared to what I was expecting, at least. So, let's simulate the game here. Hopefully, we don't get lit up and have to sim right past this one. Okay, that's a start I will definitely be happy with. All right, 1-1. One, one. Going into three. Let's do this thing. Well, these teams definitely have no shortage of X-Factors. I mean... RX Factor, is it even really that good? It's the poke check thing, right? And I remember I did a poke check, and then my dude was still frozen to the ground. So I'm not really sure if it actually helped me or not. In that instance, I'm gonna definitely argue it did not. But uh, maybe I have to do something, or maybe it's only after a certain condition. Because I know that there are a lot of X Factors and abilities that are kind of like, oh, if you uh, save two shots within three seconds, which, come on then you unlock this ability or something, or you get to use it for the rest of the game. I'm not even fully sure how they work. I'm going to be real. So, yeah, uh, that's just me being transparent. I'm not a X-Factor expert by any means. So I think with this new lighting situation, it was working. Are we on the power play? Ooh, free team play time, baby. But, yeah, um, I think it's working, which is nice. And, again, it doesn't blind me, which is also nice. Um, yeah, hopefully it continues working this way. And it also requires me to only have to turn on two lights instead of three. What a shot by Sonk. That was beautiful. Well placed. And that will give us the lead here on the power play as well. Great way to start the third period. Keith Yandel going to receive a tape-to-tape -tape pass from Leon Dreisaitl. And yeah, he's just going to send it home. Kemper with screen. Couldn't see anything. That is lovely. All right. Good stuff. Let's go Oilers. Why do they both look so angry? <laughs> They're both kind of just there like... 
Whatever, I guess they want to get out there, you know? They're just ready to get going and try to give us the insurance marker. Let's see if they can do it. Yeah, it was definitely them. It was Nuge and Drysidle. They looked very upset about something. I'm not sure what it was. But again, I'm hoping that it's just their enthusiasm to get out on the ice and get us a dub. Because those are two players right there. Yamamoto has just been labeled. But they definitely have the ability to do such things. And by that, I mean, like, win a game. Those two players alone. <laughs> Probably. Here we go, Leon. Ooh, he was about to get leveled, too, it looked like. Carries it across the blue line, and now he's down low. He is getting battled by Kale McCarr. And he passes it out to Nuge. Kemper will catch that one in the mitt. We are just over five minutes into this third period. And, yeah, so far we're playing pretty solid. I think I've received maybe only one or two shots, so we're definitely shutting down... On the defensive end as well, which is good. We've got the Cassie and Ryan and Fogel line out there, I believe it is. Bouchard. Nice passing. Okay, that was not the best shot in the world, but I do appreciate your effort. Let's go, Kadri. He is in. And he is trying to storm to the net. But again, the defense going to shut him down. Nachuskin gets a pass. Makar with it. Save that point attempt. That one didn't seem... As blistering for some reason. I know some of you guys as well, like this is probably many videos ago now, but we're saying that I could turn down the shot speed, but I kind of don't really want to do that because then that will also affect our team's shot speed. So, yeah, I'm not uh, too inclined to do that at the moment, especially considering I'm still kind of holding my own. What a save, by the way, not a big deal. Comfer across, that's another save. Oh, yeah? All right, that was, that was just bound to happen, honestly. They were all over us. It was... Sharks! Not San Jose kind. Like a real live shark. Just circling around their prey. Yeah, that was <laughs> bound to happen. I made a few good stops though. So I'm very happy with how I did there. That could probably be a thumbnail, yeah? It looks legit. Eh, sure, we'll use it. And just like that, we are tied up once more. I believe they had 17 shots coming into this period. I know, uh, once again, this will be like four videos ago now. You guys don't understand how in bulk I record these. Like, I think episode four is coming out today, and I'm recording, this is going to be eight. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how I get them out to you guys as frequently as I do. So it's kind of hard to try and talk about, you know, topical things or current events, because I don't know <laughs> if it's still going to be current by the time this finds its way to you. So, yeah, um, just basically throwing that into the ocean. But we have another power play here. Hopefully, we can capitalize again, get a second power play goal. And then that would result in the boys being back up by one. All right, I'll let Barry get that one. It didn't look like that was ever going to enter the trapezoid. Zach Hyman. He's in, and he means business. To Ryan. Spins around. Nice try. That was a great effort. I haven't really been getting a whole lot of team play because the puck just straight up isn't finding its way to me. They have dumped it down several times, but it's just never gotten quite far enough to reach TJ. I was about to say Tino Manny, but yeah, that might still happen a few times here and there. Mix up the two. But I'm assuming I'll get used to TJ fairly quickly. Yandel again. Let's see if he can get his second of the third period here. He cannot, by the way. Spoiler alert. Kadri coming back the other way and a shutdown defensive play. But now Makar with a point shot that finds its way through and just narrowly misses the net. All right, here we go, Oilers. Back on the attack. Nice pass. Ooh, that could have been a good shot too. But Makar stepped up, got in the way, and wasn't able to follow through. All right. Well, I, I tried to move the camera. Oh, you can. I forgot. Every cutscene can move the camera around. Let's go, Leon. It's going up against Kadri, who has a very good face-off rating, so I don't really expect Leon to win that one. And he didn't. No, oh, Kadri, don't you dare. Don't you dare. He has two guys on him, and he's just skating around them like it's nothing. There you go. Nice shot block. And now Nuge. He's in. Great pass to Giordano, who takes a low shot. And that won't go. But it was a great attempt. I do like the way our team is playing right now, for sure. Both defensively and offensively. And Gerard has just been destroyed. Love the physicality in this series so far as well. Lots of big hits going on. And I am here for it. Nate Mack. Is he going to take a shot? 
He's going to take a shot, I can tell. Oh, get robbed. You're open. Nice. Good play. I feel like I haven't seen McDavid in a while. Where's that guy Penn? Nice pass, McDavid. Ooh, he tried to thread the needle. And you know what? He did succeed. He did, in fact, thread that needle. But, again, we weren't able to get a very solid chance towards the net, regardless. I thought he was going to dump it in there. I was ready. I was ready to skate behind this net right here. And retrieve that puck. And probably give it away and end up getting a goal scored on me. Alright, we're almost at the two-minute warning here. Game is 2-2. Two -two, and the period is 3. Will we be seeing another overtime? I feel like we have a lot of overtimes <laughs> under our belt already in the first year here. So yeah, that's uh, some good experience, I suppose. To the pressure situations, kind of get us used to them. Maybe increase that poise stat. Don't know if that's how it works or not, but I would like to... Hope that that is a true statement. Helm across to O'Connor. Oh my word. Thank you, Barry. That rebound would have been a guaranteed goal if it wasn't for a defenseman right there. That was a clutch play. Okay, they're behind the net. I don't like it. I do not like it. Ah! Smother it! Woohoo! I don't think so, boys. Better luck next time. Oh yeah? Big save on Yost, who... Did he get traded? I feel like he's been traded, and this, again, might be old news. Just so you know, I'm recording this on March 18th, so, uh, yeah. I don't know if he did get traded, but I remember my friend said something about him possibly being traded, so, um, if he did, very interesting. I have no idea where he went, but, yeah, that's, uh, all the information I have right now is that he may or may not have been traded. Barry goes cross-ice to Kane. Head pass to McDavid. Toe drag shot will be blocked. 30 seconds left. All right. I would really prefer if this went to overtime, which I, that's weird. I can't believe I just said that, <laughs> but yeah, I kind of want it to go to overtime and I don't even know why I said that. I think more so because I just don't want to get scored on. You know, I'd rather it go to overtime than me be scored on and then we take an L. So that's my logic there. We're getting very close here. We might actually be able to score one. We might be able to score one. Oh, nice try, guys. That was a solid effort. All right. We are headed to overtime yet again. Let's do this thing. So far, we have 40 shots. Wow. They have 28. So basically, all I have to do is make two saves. Or I only need to make one save and then get scored on. And then I'll have a 900 save percentage. So that sounds... You know what? Easier said than done. I could definitely get scored on with the first shot. So I'm not going to assume anything here. Let's go Oilers. We have a pretty good record in overtime with me. As far as I remember. I think we've won two that I can think of. And have we even lost in overtime? I think we've had a shootout as well. That we won in. But we also might have lost a shootout. I don't know. I'm losing track. Let's go. Let us proceed. Barry goes posting in. And another OT win. For the Edmonton Oilers here. That's huge. Against the second place Colorado Avalanche nonetheless. You love to see it. So yeah, they ended up with 29 shots and only two goals. TJ, fire me vertical, boys. Fire me north if you will. Let's see if I got a star. I might have because there's only five total goals in the game. What happened there? <laughs> Tyson Berry, second star. Okay, I definitely did not get a star. But, you know, it was a valiant effort. 29 shots and only two goals against. Who got the first star though? I'm curious. And never mind. There you have it. 931 save percentage. TJ gets the first star of the game. Let's see what James has to say about that one. Mr. Chabolski. Let me hand the microphone over to you. I'm really, really impressed by how the rookie locked it down in that OT frame. Yeah, you better be. You know, get some run support. All he did was make one ice, save, but and they deliver with the OT victory. pretty big save, if you ask me. Gotta be a nice boost for the kid here at this time of the season to pick up that win. Absolutely, for a team ran. That's just had at times a few too many lows, and you know the highs have been there as Why well. Why does he have the camera app wildly open? Wildly inconsistent. I think not just for the rookie, but for the team as a whole this year. But not tonight. Tonight's a win, and they do it in OT. And shout out to the kid. To be in a big part as to why they get the two points in this no game. idea what's All on right, his phone back to the phones we go Gerald looks like he's like recording audio or something um maybe a tj starting a podcast okay so Time to um take a look at what team i can't skip the segment can i some of the okay let's take a look around the, the league then we're on the road to take on the oilers 
Edmonton posts the overtime winner late. Why is management gassed because of that? The Caps were hoping to play spoiler against the Penguins. Washington tramples their opponents with a good job, Washington tonight. Capitals. All right, screw that. I'm done with you, James. We have the last placed Minnesota Wild, and naturally, I'm not going to be in for that one. We're going to start against the uh, team that is clearly winning the President's Trophy, whoever that may be. That is the way it's likely going to go down. Smashville, back to back games. We didn't start either of them. We have 42 wins on the year, we're seventh in the league. Ah, here's our game. The Golden Knights are now second in the league. And, nope, they're third now, and we are not in against them, believe it or not. We take home a dub, and we're in against the 21st place Vancouver Canucks, who are 36, 36, and 4. Nice. Let's check out the calendar. How many games are actually left? So, we are... Yeah, so I'll probably get one more start. And... I might even get two, but... We'll just sim those and hope for the best. Because... Playing those games is not really going to do a whole lot for us at this point, you know? It's just going to be another episode, and we could have just got to the playoffs. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that we'll only be in for one more, but we might actually be in for two. Anyways, we got the Vancouver Canucks here. First period. Okay, they only have three shots. Don't love to see that by any means. Okay. You know what? Let's just sim this one. <laughs> Let's just sim this one. We're going to get another start. Okay, yep. Amazing. There goes my save percentage that I've been working so hard on. Thatcher Demko, 970, not a big deal. Hoaglander and Hughes as the other two stars. Very nice. Let's see how things go against Dallas. We get a dub. We're at 44 now. We're still doing... And they put me back in against Colorado. I mean, to be fair, not a bad idea considering how I played last time. But I don't think that we're going to have a repeat here. Yeah, 2-1. And they only have... 11 shots. Oh, never mind. 18 shots, and it is now 2-2 heading in. Was it 2-2 last time or 1-1? Was it Jordan 2-2 or was it Un Un? I can't remember. can't remember. I think it was 1-1 last time because the final score ended up being 3-2, and both teams scored in the third. So, yeah. Um, basically the same situation, though. Just one more goal. And once again, the Avalanche are terrifying with all their X-Factors and abilities and whatnot. They're superstar players. But you know what? We held our own last time. Let's hope we can do it again. What a pass and what a finish by Kane. That puts us back up by one. Once again, very early on in the third. That guy, he, come on, guys. Just let him by. He's just trying to get by. <laughs> but yeah, we start off hot again. That puts us in the lead here early in the third. And let's hope that we can maintain that lead this time and not have to go to overtime. That'd be lovely. Oh, no. Oh, no. McCarr with it at the point, and Kane will pick it off. He is in. Nice. Oh, he tried. He tried. Win that battle. No, Taves is going to take it out. And here comes Rantanen. Over to Mac, who's going to get dropped. Nice step up from the defense there. What a hit. Barry in over the line. He cuts into the middle. A great pass attempt. And Nurse almost got the shot off. Didn't quite get it, but got another attempt, and also did not get all of that one. Colorado in the neutral zone, and now into the Oilers' end. Nice battle in the corner there. Go help your teammate out, Nurse. Nice. Goes to Hyman, who's able to just skate right by Ranton, and not sure what he was doing. And get the puck deep. Nice stuff. Barry almost took his man wide there, but... Lost the puck, and now Colorado has it once again. Burakovsky going to get pinned between two Oilers. And another battle in the corner here. Burakovsky walking out. And great defense by the Oilers. Our defense have been playing phenomenal at, you know, just not letting them get super threatening situations. Like walking out from the corner and, yeah, basically just getting right to the front of the net. They're not letting them crash the net, so... I appreciate you, defense. Ooh, we almost got the insurance marker there. That was a close call. I know a lot of people are telling me to change the camera angle as well, but uh, I explained this in the last Be A Pro. I like this angle because it's more, like, immersive, you know? Like, sure, you probably can't see some stuff, but I feel like for a viewing perspective, like if you're watching the video as an example, I think it's just a lot better and a lot more immersive. So, yeah, um, that's why I use this camera angle, and I... Used it all last be a pro, which is not a 
great example because I did awful there, but I think I'm doing a lot better this time around. And yeah, it's just the camera angle I've pretty much used forever, so I'm used to it. I know that you can definitely change the camera angle and be able to see more of the ice, be able to anticipate stuff a little bit better, but I just like this camera angle. So I'm going to keep rocking it for now. And we are headed to the PK. Penalty kill time for your Oilers. I think we could pull it off. Come on, big draw win here to start it. That works. That works. No, it doesn't work. That was such a bad shot, too. That had no business going in. This game's starting to give me big time deja vu. It's pretty much the exact same thing as last game, except for the fact that the goal counter is one higher. Ranton and oh, poked that away. Nice. Good job, defense. Not good job. You could have got that out and you decided to hold on to it. Risky pass in front of the net. Man, it doesn't work out. Now Nate Mack has it in the slot. You do not want to see that. Ranton in with it now. I'm smothering it. We need to get a whistle here. Back to the point. Gerard, he's walking in. Ooh, he almost got the backhand off. He was just about to let it rip. And then the defense got a stick on it. Ranton in over to Gerard. In the middle to Johnson. Okay, lots of passing going on here. I'm just getting another whistle. Yeah, we need to settle it down here, folks. Things are ramping up. Colorado got the momentum from that goal. And they are capitalizing on it big time. We need a huge draw win here. And get this puck out. It has been in our zone for far too long. Great win. Nice. Here we go, Oilers. Love to see it. Hyman is in. In the middle to McDavid. Gets a pretty solid shot through low. And is kicked aside. And right back on the avalanche. But Comfer is going to be stapled along the boards by Darney. Great play. Big save. And Comfer was... Oh, he wanted to walk out. But our defense managed to pin him and prevent that. Which was huge. When they walk out in front of the net, it is terrifying. Comfort with it again. Passes to Yost, who can't quite handle it. And Dreisaitl will be there to pick up the scraps. The Oilers now in on the attack, but not for long. Wow, that was unfortunate. Colorado coming right back the other way again. Good defensive breakup. And now Barry skating up the ice with it. He's in. And goes for a pass to the middle that will go off the skate of Girard. Who will now get the puck out. Oh, I'm going for that. Yes, sir. Back this way. No one's there. Ah, someone is there. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm back in the net. We're all good. We are all good. Oh, my goodness. He actually pulled it off. If he scored there, props. That would have been a sick goal. <laughs> he dangled the defense. And then he took a shot on me that, honestly, I did not expect whatsoever. But thankfully for me, he just missed. That would have been an unreal goal. And now, yeah, they're not letting him skate anymore. That defense was pissed. Tried to destroy him along the boards, but didn't really get all of it. Johnson going to have his pass not really intercepted because of our defense stepping up, anticipating that one. Burkowski picks it up. He is battling hard. Dude, we just can't do anything right now. The Colorado Avalanche are all over us. Burkowski again. Another stop. Now it's behind the net in front to Nechuskin. Nice. Thank you. No, not like this. Come on, man. Are you serious? 30 seconds to go. And that is a very unfortunate goal. <laughs> what is that celebration? What is that? Oh, dude, that sucks. That is not the way I anticipate. I was expecting another overtime. I really was. I mean, we could still get it. Oh, dude, I, I don't blame myself for that one. No, I was there for the shot. It just unfortunately bounced. One thing led to another. Landeskog was there for the rebound. And now the Colorado Avalanche are in the lead. Not a great way to finish the season. Um, not really an awful way either, but definitely not great. And we just took a penalty. Yeah. Well, looks like it's playoff time. One final save. One final save. No, not going to happen. Landeskog didn't get it through. All right, boys. That was an unfortunate one. But it is what it is. How many shots did they have? Yeah, 26. Oh, boy. Not good, in case you were wondering. But we tried, put our best effort forth, 
James. Few more minutes here on the show. Uh, a few more. Just a few more. Joins us here to uh, finish up strong. How are you, buddy? I'm good. I'm excited uh, for this one. Looking forward to the end of the year. It's been a long year, and we're getting into the best part of the season now. Yeah, yeah. Crunch Touché. time, second season, and there's also votes that have to be in for awards. Uh, no. We were talking about a few of these, a few different texts. Um, the Calder. Uh, fair to say we can rule out the young goaltender here, right? Okay, I've heard uh, enough. I've heard enough. Simulate the game here. That's an L against Columbus. We have the Pity Pens. We're in for this one. I am just going to sim it. Let's go here. First period. Second. Playing pretty solid. And then that happens because, of course, it does. Amazing. Okay. This is the last game of the season, I believe. We're now all the way up to 10th. We have gone on a slide here. San Jose. And we... Simulate to the offseason. Did we not make the playoffs? Is that even possible? Hold on. No, we did. Okay, I guess, yeah, I'm just not starting at all. So, let us see what happens here. I'm not gonna go based off of... Actually, let's check the season stats out first. So, McDavid got his overall in points, 95. He had a very good year. Dry settle, only 65. Still 94, thankfully. Uh, Kane put up 65, Nuge with 53, Hyman 52. I'll just kind of scroll through here so you guys can see everybody. There you go. Um, and then in terms of goalies, we had Mike Smith, 34, 21, and 7 with four shutouts and a 904. I finished with an 888, 10, 11, and 1. But again, 74 overall. So, yeah, we got that medium elite potential. Koskinen had an 884, but he only played two games. And he had a 326, so he did not... Do super hot as well. And we can check out the entire league. Let's kind of see what's going on there. And then let's try to sim the playoffs. So entire league. We've got Kucherov with 96. Wow, McDavid actually almost had the Art Ross. He was right there. But no bueno. So this is the first page here. I'll just show all the pointy game players. Okay, so it stops at Ovechkin who had 46 goals. Which means I think the Rocket Richard is split between these two. Yeah, they both get it. I think that's how it works. And let's check out the goaltenders in the league. I'll also check the defensemen. So Kemper, 916, 41 wins on the year. Yeah, Colorado did unreal. Uh, Jack Campbell's up there with a 912. Bobrovsky with a 916. All right, Leonard, 918. Attaboy. Cool. So there's your goalies. Defensemen now. We've got Victor Hedman with 73. Fox put up 65. Uh, Petrangelo with 61. And, yeah, we've got a pretty stacked defensive front page here. Ekman Larson put up 53. Pretty solid. Um, oh, wow. Quinn Hughes put up 54, but he only played 68 games. That is very impressive. Okay. Letang, 59 and 77. Cool. Now, let us do the playoffs. I'm kind of just going one day at a time here to see what's going on. Like, it's got to show me, right? All right, there we go. Stop simulation. Conversation with the coach. Obviously, he's not going with us. Announcement by the coaching staff earlier today that they're going to go with the rookie on the bench when this series. Oh, I was like, underway. what? Yes, they go with the veteran between the pipes, and the kid will be forced to watch as the postseason gets underway. I understand the logic. I do totally. understand it. You want to go with the devil you know in these sorts of scenarios because. You know, there is I was no like, uh... in a long, grand scheme of things here when you get into the playoffs. And so it's got to be a tough one for the kid to digest. A lot of people disagree with this decision. A lot of people don't like it. I doubt it. that. I really doubt people are disagreeing with that. Well, let's sim game by game, I suppose. Sim game. Let's see how we do here. Battle of Alberta in round one. That's a good start. And okay. It is now one to one. Simulate here. 2-1 Calgary. Oh, man. In typical channel fashion, it's going to be a first-round exit, isn't it? 4-1 as well. Sim game. Nope. Held on for one more. Sim game. Oh, it's a game seven. Sim to the next game. I can't even, like, live do it. I just got to... Yeah. And... Oh! We actually came back from 3-1. Incredible. We got the Golden Knights in round two. Let's see how this one goes. Sim game. Okay, that's an L to start off. Sim the game. Oh, we're down 2-0. It's not the way you want it to go. Actually, maybe it's better to do it from here. 
What happens if I... Can I do it from here? Sim game? No, it just does that. An OT win. Let's go up to here. I'm fairly confident they're not going to win two in a row. Okay, well, uh, that sucks, to say the least. The New York Islanders win the Stanley Cup. Henderson Silver Knights with the Calder. There you have it. And I suppose we don't need to worry about any of this because this isn't franchise mode. So we can just simulate up to next season. And I'm assuming there's going to be all kinds of conversations going on that I simply do not care about. I'm also going to straight up skip the preseason, I think. How? I guess when you start in the NHL, you only get a one-year contract. Okay, well, I'm definitely sticking with the Oilers for now. I mean, they have three goalies. They also have Bobrovsky, and they only have one goalie, so I'm definitely going back to Edmonton. Yeah, that was interesting. I didn't expect that to happen already, so we got two of those points. I'm going to not assign them now. I'm going to wait till next year because we might get more and then do it all in one session. Conversation with our agent. What is up? Sir, what's going on? What do you want from me? There's a game happening for a charity. Absolutely. Yep. And neutral. Okay. That's an incredible gesture. I know. It's just, it's just what I do. Okay. Money. Oh, wait. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Let's get to next season. ASAP. I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. I am taking... Michael Smith's job. <laughs> I am taking Bubble's job. Okay, so let's go to the calendar. We're already at next year. That came quick. And I am going to just sim right up to the season. Yes, sir. That's how we do. Year one, you know, we obviously kind of want to do the, the preseason. Narrative and the expression but being good in the room, right? Storyline? Can I make a storyline? Yeah, you know, how many times oh. have we seen teams that absolutely stack oh, yes. their talent and they fall apart? Why? Because reach 2,000 team like ability by the end of the year. And I know with some reporters, Easy. some of the media members asking the kids, say, yeah. hey, you know what? Why? Well, how do you how do you endear yourself to teammates more? Let's go. I don't know if there's ever really an answer. I mean, you can go out and. You know, try to be the best player you can be. That's one way to do it. You know, that's certainly one way to do speaking, it. I think another great way to do it. He looks so tiny when he does that. It's just weird. Because you know, who buy likes everyone pizza, pizza eh, James. Everybody, right? Everybody loves pizza. That's Let's not go true. Back to the phones here. Let's go to Brent. Brent is on that's a bold assumption, James, and you are wrongo on that one. I mean, I sure love pizza, but I know people that don't. All right. Um. Yeah. Of course, I have high hopes for the season. You kidding me? We're gonna win the Stanley Cup. This is our year. Play them nine to or play them ten times. It might be at us nine, but not tonight. Okay. Are we gonna get past the preseason ever or what? There we go. That's a good start. Oh, oh yeah. What a preseason. Okay, well, not a great way to finish it off. Never mind. Five one and one. Very good. And the Golden Knights are the first opponent for the year. So let's go deal with all of our. Is it going to be just the volatility in the standings? The yeah, no. Watch. Don't want to hear it. So we are actually starting the season opener. We are in. Cool. I don't want to request a trade. I literally just signed with you guys. I got two trade points. And I'm pretty sure I can't do anything in terms of abilities. Uh, we do have these slots. But yeah, I can't actually equip anything yet. Because I haven't unlocked anything yet. So let's go to the skill tree. And what should I raise is the real question. I don't care about dialogue. Nah, not really. Athleticism. This one does durability and endurance, which are both kind of low. So I am tempted. Agility is huge. Aggressiveness. Uh, speed would be two points. Okay, I'm going to do one on agility. So let's purchase that. And you know what? I am going to do this one because these stats are pretty low. Let's try to get a boost there. Okay, nice. Wait, what? I, it said I still have a point. Oh. Did I have three? I swear it said I only have two. What else can we do then? Uh, aggressiveness, no. Wait, was it aggressiveness? It was. I'm okay on that front. Um, okay, I'll, I'll start this one off, sure. There we go. Also, why did my pads change? What's up with that? That's rude. Well, I think it's time for a rebrand anyway. New season, new me. Okay, I'm not even going to check the lines. We're going to do that in the next video, so... 
yeah, I'm, I'm saving all of that for the next video. We've done enough in this one already. Uh, next video, I'll do the rebrand. I'll check the lines. And we'll play some hockey. So, yeah, thank you guys very much. Season 1 is under our belt. Um, a sad second round exit, but what can you do? Let's try to make it further this year. I need to finish with teammate likability of 2,000. I'm literally already there, so I just need to maintain it pretty much, which easy peasy. Uh, and then I'll get another ability or X-Factor, whatever. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I will see you soon.